When you're assessing a patient's breathing in trauma, one of the first things you want to do is listen to their breath sounds bilaterally. And what you're listening for are the presence of equal bilateral breath sounds on both sides of the chest. You also want to look and just get an overall feel for their respiratory effort. You know, of course, you're going to note their respiratory rate, and you're probably going to pay attention to specifically what they're doing when they're breathing. But at the beginning, if you just get a visceral sense of whether they're kind of chilling, breathing comfortably, or if they're working really hard to breathe, they're using additional muscles and they're having to pull air in, that should give you a sense of the severity of their respiratory compromise. You, of course, want to count the respiratory rate. Again, this is a vital sign that is often documented incorrectly and one that you really want to double check yourself. And you should always be concerned about a patient with significant tachypnea because that's somebody who could tire out and really get themselves into trouble shortly. And then lastly, your respiratory vital sign is your oxygen saturation. The whole purpose of the lungs is to get oxygen into the blood. So you need to know if they are fulfilling that purpose effectively or not.